Well, now that the kids are back to school, it's important to make sure they are equipped and parents are educated when it comes to allergies and asthma. And Dr. Lucena Korkanis with Allergy SA is here with some wonderful back to school health tips for parents. Good morning. Good morning. You know, it's something, if you don't have a child that has asthma or any type of allergies, you don't think about it. But if you do have a child, with a food allergy or asthma, um, sending them back to school can be scary. Yes, right? yes, truly, yes. Um, make sure your child starts their asthma medication if they're on a controller, um, because about two weeks in, we start seeing asthma flare-ups. Mm -hmm. Make sure the school has an asthma plan or a allergy action plan that your allergy asthma doctor fills out. Make sure uh, that your child has an extra inhaler, uh, an epinephrine auto injector at school. Um, and the school nurse has it on file, they know how to use it, they know what their allergies are. Yes. Those are the most important things. That they can do as the kids are heading back. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, if a child has um, a food allergy, there are some signs mm -hmm. uh, if you're unsure if they do or not. And I want to go through those. You sent these to us and I thought this was really good information. Uh, if they get hives or a red itchy skin. Yes. A stuffy nose. Yes. Um, and usually these would happen in a few minutes to maybe an hour or so after being exposed to that particular food. It could take an hour. It can for sometimes take an hour, show. yes. Um, and in the most severe reactions, they could go into shock, they could pass out, and that's what's the scary one, that's anaphylaxis. So, so. you want to be sure and know the signs if your child does have a food allergy that you aren't aware of. Exactly. Now also, they may have asthma, and some asthma isn't as bad as others, but there are signs uh, that your child may have asthma as well. And you yes. sent these to us, and I think this is important for, for people to take a look at. I know I had a child with asthma. He outgrew it, luckily. Mm -hmm. But uh, wheezing, shortness of breath, chest tightness, coughing at night or during exercise, and then trouble sleeping due to coughing or wheezing. I would think that these would be pretty obvious signs, doctor. Yes, sometimes though they just cough, and people don't realize that the cough is from asthma. Wow. They think it's a cough from an infection. That won't go away. That won't go away, and sometimes that's one of their signs mm -hmm. of what's called cough variant asthma, which is seen more in children. Now, is this a cough that happens after they overexert themselves, or they're just kind of always have that nagging cough? They, always have that nagging cough. It can get worse after an infection or exercise. It typically gets worse at night mm -hmm. and it wakes them up at night. They wake it's up coughing um, and that's one of the signs of asthma in children. And so if you're seeing one or two of these signs, it would be a good idea to come and see you at that point. Definitely. Come uh, see us, see an allergist, um, and then we can see if the child should be tested and treated um, and that will help. And then you can move forward and you will have peace of mind as a parent sending them back to school knowing you have a game plan. Definitely. Definitely. Well, I want to give everyone your information because they need to come and see you, A, if they need to have their child tested or maybe mm -hmm. they just have some questions. Maybe you already know that your child has a food allergy or they have asthma. Allergy SA, they have wonderful doctors. They have three San Antonio locations. One is on Babcock Road there, 2414 Babcock. Suite 109. You can call them 210-616-0882 or go to allergysa.com. Doctor, thank you so much. Thank Great you. information. And we will be right